Hi, welcome to our meal protest kitchen. I'm Chef Shannon, and today we're gonna to be making a basic protein bar recipe. Depending on food restrictions, allergies, we have different variations that will accommodate everyone. So what we have right here is we have our rolled oats, and oats are gluten-free. So that helps with anyone with celiac or that is gluten sensitive. This is our main base. Next, to get us that extra protein, we have a protein powder. This one is made out of pea protein, so again, it helps people that don't use dairy. The binding agent of our bar is gonna be peanut butter, but again, you can actually switch to almond butter if you prefer, and that avoids any peanut allergies. A second binder is gonna be honey. And if you didn't wanna use honey if you're vegan, you can actually use agave syrup or maple syrup. And then these are just a, an assortment of different toppings you can put in it. We have some dried fruit, apricots and cranberries, some chocolate chips. And today we're gonna to make a cranberry chocolate chip basic protein bar. So in a bowl, you're going to wanna to mix one and a half cups of your rolled oats. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup of our protein powder. We're gonna add our peanut butter, and like I said, you can use almond butter. And we're gonna give this a mix before we add in our toppings. It is gonna be sticky, and so what I suggest is pressing the peanut butter down into the oats. And when that's getting mixed, I'm gonna add in our secondary binder, and it's gonna give it a little sweetness, our honey. And as you can see, it's, it's a sticky, gooey mess. What I like about this recipe is it's a no-bake. This will go in the freezer to set up, and then once you cut them, they're, they're ready and will maintain their shape. So here, I have a couple tablespoons of water, and I'm gonna drizzle about one tablespoon on the top and we'll give it a mix. And now we have, as you can see, it's come together, our base. And so to this base, today we are gonna do some cran dried cranberries and then to make it a little extra sweet, we're gonna add in our chocolate chip. And again, we'll mix these in. And after you have everything mixed, we are gonna take an eight by eight pan and we're gonna put our mix into that. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is give that a wrap of some plastic wrap and then you're gonna put it in the freezer for about an hour. And when we return, we're gonna be cutting these and doing a taste test. Give us a, a like down below and also subscribe to our channel because I have lots more coming up for you.